It's actually run by an Australian man. They have all sorts of um, legitimate clients, big banking, big banks, big accountancy firms. Asia City essentially sets up offshore companies for people who want privacy. Asia City is part of a growing industry of professional wealth managers helping the super rich manage their cash. It's lawyers, accountants, investment advisors, you know, so anyone who helps with the private equity, venture capital fund, real estate agents, all of them are gatekeepers. And when we use the term gatekeepers, it really is these are the individuals that are meant to guard the financial system because they have the expertise, they have the know-how to navigate the nitty-gritties of what is otherwise a very complex system to navigate. What we found when we looked into it is that individual entities that are providing these services, for them in isolation, it's hugely profitable. So, you know, there's the ongoing advice, there's the fees of setting up these structures, there's a trailing uh, revenue model because you're continually managing these structures. So for those individual businesses that are active in this space, it's hugely profitable. Asia City prides itself on trust and discretion, keeping the confidential information of its high profile clients secret. Now, an anonymous source has leaked millions of internal documents from Asia City and 13 other offshore providers to media around the world through the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. It's interesting that we're seeing somebody who no one's ever heard of. You're talking about Graham Briggs, an accountant, somebody who's, you know, gone to Singapore, built a business, um, and now he's at the centre of what will be, I think, a political storm around the world. 